I'm absolutely fascinated by the blurring of uh, frontiers between disciplines. I mean, for me, it's, uh, it's, it's something absolutely fascinating. I come, you know, my, my real background was, uh, you know, I have been trained as a lawyer and as an accountant. And I came by accident, in fact, in a theater school. And for me, what I discovered when I came to the National Theatre School was not only theater, because this place here is a place where we train at the same time, in parallel, actors, directors, designers, playwrights, and we, we need musicians, choreographers, and all of that. So in this building, I constantly interact with people who are involved in the performing arts, but who are not necessarily theater people, per se. They are, they are doing many different things. And what I find uh, more and more fascinating is that uh, there's no artist, uh, major artist right now, who is not uh, considering the possibility of borrowing uh, different pieces or different approaches or different ideas that are coming from, you know, other disciplines. And it's not a co only a question of borrowing it for the pleasure of doing it. It's because we, we need to, we're talking or we're, we're creating for people who are right now have this incredible curatorial possibility. Everybody now equipped with, you know, uh, an iPad, computers, and all of that becomes its own curator. We can go sample, uh, do we, we can do sampling, we can, we can make choices, we can merge different uh, proposals and all of that. And that capacity means that the new generation will not go to see something because it's visual arts or because it's theater or because it's dance. They will go to see because they, they want to live an experience that is meaningful and they, there will be more and more, uh, a, a more and more profound blending between all the disciplines. But I think that the successful blending is, is uh, when you really are able to assemble or to, to merge different elements that, that are very solid, that are very precise, that are very clear. And that's the reason why I think there's a future for the disciplines. I think we, we still need disciplines, but we need to see the dip disciplines not, not as something that is sacred, not as something that has to be protected at any price. Uh, I think the ecology of a discipline means more and more uh, an understanding of the, economy, the ecology of all the arts and culture and society. I think we will need, maybe the Canada Council will need in the future uh, artists and cultural experts on its juries, but also sociologists, it, people who are specialists of philosophy, ethic and all of that, and media people, because we need to, to have a view of, uh, of uh, an artistic proposal that takes into account not only the future of one discipline, not only the impact within a discipline, but the impact on the, our own history of art and the impact on the society uh, as a whole. And, um, and this is where we are, and it's, it's incredibly interesting because we, it's not only a question uh, of breaking silos right now, it's a question of imagining uh, new ways of sharing uh, images, uh, sounds, uh, uh, words, uh, ideas, uh, very abstract to very uh, concrete uh, production process. We, we really live in a moment where sharing, intelligence sharing and brilliant sharing is, uh, will be the key. And, and that is, is interesting because when you want to share you add forces as opposed to exclude people. And, and I think when I came to the Canada Council years ago, I was fascinated by the fact that a lot of people working, uh, for instance, running nasos and theater or dance and all of that, were seen as a champion of a discipline. So you protect a discipline, you argue for your own discipline, in a sense, against the other discipline. You want your your, your share, you want your piece of the pie, 
And, uh, and now I see more and more leaders in the cultural sector who understand that uh, it's better to have kind of a 360 degrees vision and it's, it's more important to have an idea of the ecology of, and the positioning of the arts in the society uh, to support the discipline as opposed that, okay, first the discipline and then the future of the arts. I think it's absolutely uh, linked and, uh, and I hope that the Kennedy Council in the future will succeed this delicate, uh, will, will maintain a delicate balance between discipline that are needed and that are really important and that may and will exist, uh, I'm sure, for years and new disciplines and this uh, uh, sharing of, uh, of disciplines. And it's a, it's a delicate balance, but it's, a, it's an interesting challenge.